yeah. as fast as possible. So that's not on us that this happened too early. Let's go Chuck Pagano, obviously 18 years NFL coach. Can a team peak too early, or is that just all kind of fodder for bullshit? No, I think you want to find out what you have, what your identity is, and then just keep getting better from there. So I, I don't think so. I, I think everybody always says, okay, it's going to be this week. It's going to be next week. I think this culture is too good. I think MCDC is too good. You mentioned the, the offensive uh, top five defense. Numbers-wise aren't top five, but you said scoring uh, defense, yes. right? So point differential, they're 13.8, which is number one in the National Football League. Big difference for this is Aaron Glenn's done a great job on the defensive side. They pick Pick up Zadarius Smith, obviously, uh, at the trade deadline to make up for that lost pass rush with uh, with Hutch out. Last year at this time, or last year at the end of the season, they were 29th in red zone defense. Currently, they're number four, and they're first on third down defense. So when you talk about keeping people out of the out of the end zone and 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 your your scoring defense going up like that, those are those are two reasons why. Foxy, it's got to feel good to have all these things said about your team right now. Feed me all the hype. I do not <laughs> care. In my lifetime, the Detroit Lions have never been the best team in the NFL. And you know what? I want them to print shirts that say "Midseason Super Bowl Champions." That's how much I don't care about all of this hype. And I well, do. Then why think- are you making a shirt? That's a bad idea. You make it. Because you it's never happened for Foxy. I want a Super Bowl champion. So you're season. happy where you are? You guys hanging a banner? This is like the Lakers winning the uh, halfway it's cup. You played yeah, yourself. We're going to win this right? one, we one and we're going to win one at the end of the year because that's the MCDC culture. I don't care about all the noise. This team's yeah, the right, best right. in the NFL. They are so much fun to watch, and I'm going to enjoy every single week of it. How are they able to keep both their coordinators for this long? Yeah. I don't love it. How has that happened? Well, How is that? Aaron Glenn had job blackmail. offers allegedly, didn't get, didn't yeah. take. Ben Johnson allegedly, maybe it is. Maybe it is. MCD, that's MCDC football, bro. But the fact that they're all committed yeah. up there, players, coaches, everybody is bought in. It's, like it's MC- a great place to work. It must be a great place to work, great place to play. Obviously, when you're keeping coordinators like that and all the players seem to, to buy in. Well, and MCDC, you, you talk about a great place to work. It's like he's cultivated that entire, mm-hmm. entire oh, yeah. thing from day one. Day one, MCDC's been MCDC. Now, obviously, he had the opportunity to be the interim head coach down at the Dolphins, and he goes over to the Saints, so he's no stranger to the position. But as soon as he gets dropped in there, from that opening press conference, I don't think he's changed at all. I I don't think he's changed. Obviously, there's been some football decision-making things that he's evolved from, he learned from, and his team's gotten better. But he's doing up-downs the first day of training camp his first year. He's still doing that. It's like... He is him. He, he MCDC is him. Exactly. He hasn't changed. And they just showed this clip. Their first season, they were 0-10-1. Him and Jared Goff. And they they didn't change. They could have moved quarterbacks like they said they were going to. They never did. And it's just crazy how they went from that to, you know, Super he Bowl. Cried. Yeah. yeah. He cried after Legitimately the first cried. Life. Which I think he would still do oh, yeah. if they won a massive yeah. game. I think he would. Yes. It's just different expectations now. It's like. And you saw the deal with David Montgomery, right, when they interviewed him and what he said about MCDC before he was getting there, when he was going in there. What were, what were your thoughts? And he mentioned, okay, that first press conference. You think, okay, is this guy absolutely nuts? Is he a good coach? And he said he's both. Yeah, he's, you know, that's our that's our leader. He is the best football coach I've been around, and he and he's also a little bit wacky. Which you and know, he's and jacked. He, yeah, yeah, huge. He's, he's absolutely. Jacked. He's a big. He's a big human. Huge. Yeah. Like how's he? How's he keep up with it while he's? Co- I don't know how he gets as much time because he's bigger seemingly. Probably doesn't sleep. I mean, I would assume he sleeps like an hour and a half a night. Dish. Yeah, we know he doesn't <laughs> sleep. What is his coffee order? Uh, venti, venti, two black eyes. <laughs> What are those? Uh, two shots of espresso, and I have about six of those a day. So I don't know what I'm drinking. 180 ounces of coffee and nine espresso shots. What does a normal human do? <laughs> Not that. How long have you been doing this for? As long as I can remember. Since I really came out of the womb. And that's not even I, three, four tins of chew a day as well. So you tell me, man. How's Applebee's going? <laughs> Through the roof. Bonus wings are back. Better than ever, man. <laughs> not as good as Pizza Hut. <laughs> Come on. Nobody out pizzas the hug. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's true. Put you a little bit of a pickle there. Yeah, that you, you did. But I think with, with the Lions, too, like everyone always talks about it, how like you want to be physical and you want to be tough. Like it's the NFL. But you see how like when you actually have a guy like Dan Campbell and like Vrabel, like those guys are tough guys in real life. And like their teams really do embody that physical toughness. And like it's just when they play other teams, it's so evident that – oh, this team is not as tough and they're not as physical as they are. So that's something I don't think like any actual tough person says, right? Everybody just kind of understands like this is actual tough guy. Here, this is a real tough guy. 